Hi there, my name is Hian Lu. I'm a senior front end engineer at GitLab working in the monitor stage. And today I wanted to record this video to give you all a brief introduction to an overview of customizable dashboards. This was recorded on the 18th of September, 2024. So if you're watching this in the future, uh, everything may not be applicable as we're constantly iterating and improving on things, but uh, this should give a brief and accurate overview of the current state of things. At the bottom there is my GitLab username. Feel free to ping me if you have any questions about this or just in general, uh, or feel free to ping me if you're also interested in using this yourself. I'm always happy and open to chat. Right, so what we'll cover today is what is a dashboard, what are customizable dashboards, what are analytics dashboards, and what is product analytics. Right, so that was a lot of dashboarding and a lot of analytics thrown about, but don't fret, uh, this um, but by the end of this, I hope to give you a clear picture of what's important and also how these all fit together. Right, so what is a dashboard? And at the bottom there of each um, uh, heading, I've added a link to relevant documentation to give you more insight if you're interested. Uh, if you're watching the video, feel free to pause and type in that URL, but I'll also be sharing the slides with this recording, which you can open and then click through to that link. Right, so back to it. Uh, a dashboard, as we define it, is a root container for panels with a grid layout. Uh, I think we're all, as tech uh, users, very familiar with a dashboard or have used one in the past. Um, it's a very common and key part of uh, allowing users to you know, get insight into a wider system or application. And for us, the basic building block of a dashboard, importantly, is a panel. Uh, so we have a dashboard as a container and one dashboard can contain many panels. And then also each panel contains a visualization and a visualization is the graphical query result of a data source. Now that may sound very technical, but really what it means is a query could be something like a unique users over seven days. And the graphical result of that is a line chart. Uh, showing how users, how many users there are over seven days. So pretty simple. Um, a, at the bottom, there is a dashboard layout example. Uh, we are showing two panels with different visualizations, all on a single dashboard with a one by three uh, grid layout. Now on to the next bit, what is customizable dashboards? So this is really the important uh, part because this is the shared and reusable framework we've built at GitLab for user customizable dashboards. It's all powered by YAML configurations. So that means when a user loads a dashboard, we're loading in a YAML configuration. They make changes, they make edits, they, re they resize panels, change the layout, change the order of things. That all gets saved back to a YAML configuration again. We've also tried to build this from the start to be very modular. Uh, and using modular architecture with basic building blocks. So you have the ability to plug in uh, different data sources and a data source is the client that goes and fetches say like pipeline data, formats it into a standard format that the dashboard can understand. And then you hand that off to the customizable dashboard to render it using whichever uh, visualization type the user chose. We also, speaking of visualization types, uh, provide a uh, array of pre-built visualization types. So we have like line charts, data tables, column charts, etc. Uh, and all of this is to make it easy for our product teams to easily build uh, dashboards. So to provide this like one-stop solution that you can slot in and you can reuse a lot of the existing resources to provide not only dashboarding, but also customizable dashboards which gives users, it empowers them to build uh, a view into the GitLab application and allows them to pick what's important to them uh, for their own persona or team. And uh, it also allows our teams to quickly build dashboards because you no longer have to build that full stack experience all the way from the database to the view. You only now have to really worry about the data layer and feeding that into this framework. And importantly, uh, a like a North Star that's guiding us here in terms of the user experiences, we want to provide the ability for users to combine any data source 
uh, with different visualization types and render it on a single dashboard. So at the bottom there, I have like a rough example of a user querying uh, product analytics and showing it on a line chart and querying observability traces data and showing it on a column chart all on a single data or, or all, sorry, all on a single uh, dashboard. Um, so next is what are analytics dashboards? So really, this is just a use case of the customizable dashboard framework. It's the first user of it. Um, and what analytics dashboards is, is a, um, it's a home base for all uh, analytics related dashboards. So currently it contains product analytics, value stream management, AI impact analytics, and with more to come. Uh, we've also built some additional tooling like a data exploration UI called the visualization designer, the name soon to change. And this enables users to create uh, their own visualizations and I'll demo uh, it at the end of the call. So what is product analytics? Uh, product analytics is just a data source basically um, that plugs into this customizable dashboard framework. Uh, it is an offering that allows our GitLab users to see how their uh, applications that host, that is where the code is hosted on GitLab is performing out in the real world. So to see how their users are using the application, behaving on that application and see it all inside of GitLab. Uh, importantly, we've been dog footing it to track product analytics itself with product, analy with product analytics on GitLab. Um, so it's important for us to get this right because we are a key user of product analytics. And how does this all fit together? So this gives you an overview and really the important bit that you need to know or focus on here is that dashed line in the middle. Uh, at the top, we have the pre-built stuff. So that's the shared framework and the analytics dashboard uh, view to it. And at the bottom, that's really where the product teams fit in. So you're building the data sources, that client that goes and fetches the data from somewhere, be it the GitLab API or ClickHouse or whatever you have, transforms it into the standard dashboard format and that, that is fed into the custom dashboard framework. And that empowers users to then use that to build dashboards or use uh, for, for your own team to use our custom dashboard framework to build pre-built dashboards. Right, so a live demo. Uh, this is gonna be fun. This is the analytics dashboards for my own personal website. I hope it works. Um, live demos being what they are, you never know. <laughs> And here you see the analytics dashboards listing for my personal website. Uh, I only have tracking enabled on my own browser, so there's only one user showing. Um, but we can click through and you'll see the total unique users there is one, that's me. Um, and all of this is built with uh, YAML configurations and it's powered by the customizable dashboard framework. So this is really showing how you can build pre-built GitLab dashboards also using the same tools that we give to our users. And I think that's also part of the, the great value proposition here is that this is not just empowering on users, but also us as a user of this framework. Um, users are also able to create their own uh, dashboards or clone existing ones. They can you know, change the order, uh, save it, and there you go. Um, they also have access to a visualization designer, so you can ask questions like uh, unique users with their browsers to find out like, okay, how many people are using what? And you can ask uh, Dio to generate this. And after a few seconds, it should come back with a uh, query that it's written for um, to go and query the product analytics data and get this uh, for us. seems to be taking a bit of a while, so I'm just going to refresh and try that again. Let's see if it's quicker this time. There we go. And there you can see uh, there's me, really unique user using Chrome. Uh, I can then save this as like my custom uh, visualization, uh, or I think I already have one called that. Let's say number two. And they're saved, and users can then go and use this, and you know, add it on their existing uh, dashboards using the custom dashboard framework. So here we have number two, 
there we have it. We can save it. And there you go. Um, so yeah, I hope this uh, video gives a or gave you a good uh, oversight of the custom dashboard frameworks, product analytics, analytics dashboards, all dashboards and analytics things. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, always happy to chat. And yeah, that's it. Hope you all have a wonderful day.